This is a poem, story, regarding the authentic exploits of my past, titled this little piece called Indeed It's True. Way down the eerie way, bean feeds, wonder woods, the midget with a full-size wife smoking his big cigars, black Pontiac with the indent on its side, Davy Crockett on my bed and walls, the Simmon boys, the Rainey family, even my little sister burned her hands on that big black wood-burning stove. Mowing the cemetery for extra cash, catching that first fish on a cane pole with Dad, killing chickens in the backyard, listening to the turtle doves in the evening, family living in a car at the courthouse, thinking the world was near its end. Wonder what they think now. Moved to the city, Octave gave it its name, rode there in my dad's old truck. Big house, big school, just about big everything. Started in school across the street. Tommy and Bobby lived under the overpass. Played in the neighborhood with all my friends. Army man, my favorite, thanks to Allen's bargain store. Going for haircuts at the Tioga Hotel. Picked up pop bottles for extra cash. Spent it quick on penny candy at Mrs. Old's grocery store with that big red Coca-Cola sign out front. Went swimming as often as we could, walking past Irma's on those hot summer days. Camping and boating, that was our family thing. Gone every weekend to those dark brown lakes of Kansas. The Lone Star called Debbie D. Purchased in Iola the summer of 61. Three-room blue tent. West Holt trailer, now we're in style, watching those big fish down at the boat dock. Off to the mountains was a common scene, thanks to home savings and loan. Living in a dormitory, box lunch on Wednesday, sitting on a big rock, thinking I'm on top of the world. Pikes Peak on a cold day, driving that blue and white 56 Ford. Made a lot of friends, where are they now? Hiking the mountains, going to see Miss Moeller. Grand Lake, what a sight. Sailboats with a breeze. Stories of snowfalls up to the eve. Going to Grandpa's, a regular kind of thing. All the boyer boys swimming and fishing, waving at the trains in my birthday suit, riding home with only a towel to cover my manhood, eating whorehound candy, drinking that strange tasting well water digging potatoes, playing on Grandpa's orange trailer until Cousin Steve broke out his front teeth. Uncle Alvin got married to Carol one hot summer day, looking through the window of that white country church surrounded by cedars. Going to the VFW out in the country, sitting at those long tables to eat, and for other reasons I didn't understand. Pumped water with a hand pump, I remember it well. Had a time listening to stories Old steam engine Charlie got to where he couldn't hear. Drove a 53 Chevrolet. He spit tobacco, rarely getting it out the window. Old Charlie could drive, revving his motor to the point he could hear it. Slipping the clutch in any gear. Stuffing gunny sacks down an old man's chimney. Halloween pranks, that was what it was called. Smoked him out into the night. Got that first guitar, hands were too small. Elvis was my man. Started a band in 63 with Rex and the Kadoo Boys. Listening to music at every chance. Wild affair, rapid transit. What a fun way to learn a few lessons of life. Brother and sisters are coming and going. Each doing their own special thing. Motorcycles, Barbie dolls, drum and bugle corps, clarinets and trumpets and much, much more. All married young except this one. Playing sports, trying to compete with Big Brother, rummage sales, hide-and-go-seek, even playing ditch em after dark. Three-story tree houses, the tree now gone, barn full of coffins, boogeyman still lives under the front porch. Oldest sister, telling ghost stories under the streetlight. Bullet and peanut, what great dogs. Received full membership into the family, you know. Even got Christmas presents. Cried for a week when they left for dog heaven. Mom's cooking chicken on Sunday, always letting you help. Dad cooked breakfast on Saturday. Eggs and taters, taco eating contests, 
13 was my best. Frying eggs, getting burned, learning how, homemade pie. I said no to cottage cheese and to tomatoes. Sitting down as a family three times a day, always having soup and sandwich when it was cold, everyone with their own seat, mine next to the back door. Playing baseball, never much good. Dad was both umpire and referee. He had the best seat in the house. Played basketball out back, day in, day out. Granny lived with us. Her apartment was upstairs, always talking about the past. Southern Grandpa, what a guy. Money, Cadillacs, fighting, there was nothing he'd never done except be a grandpa. He never could grow up, never got to know him, only his character. Worked many jobs along the way. Around home most often was cleaning day. Crown Drug, Mr. Bogle Forest, even Mr. Cowan's. Soda fountain, putting water in the humidor to make the cigars not dry out. Counting papers on Sunday morning, getting paid with cash. Roofing houses with my brother, carrying groceries for Charlie and Mrs. Graham. Mowing yards, picking tomatoes, even teaching swimming lessons for 35 cents an hour. Lifeguarding at the pool, Norma's still there, not much we didn't learn to do. Carried the Tribune through heat and cold, just a sub for Greg. Stopped at the co-op to smell the grain and sorghum, always drinking a lion pop with peanuts. Went to the country at every chance. Village Creek, Indian Cave, Cable Bridge, the big tree house in the sky. Werewolf Bridge, Brown Wells, even the Honda Hole. Fishing for catfish, my brother and me, sliding down the hill on a piece of cardboard. Sue Fine was its name. Kids today don't know how. The King, stock car races on West Main, A&W Root Beer, Alta's, the Owl, the Dynamite, the Top Hat, the Silver Grill, Six Bulls, the Pub, Southside, the Empire, the Coliseum, the Incadet, the Peter Pan, Rubo's Grocery, the Slot Book Car Track, Free Hot Dogs and Pop at Elks Lake, Open Air Skating Rink, Honking Your Horn under 3rd Street Subway, Barker's Dairy Bar with Chili Cones, First Charbroiled Burger I Ever Ate, the White Grill, Hearts Cafe, the Orchid Buffet, the Chicken Shack, riding the train at Santa Fe. Going to the East Quarry, Ray Zumo, Lyle Dean, Tony Lockyer, the Minonis, Mr. Peak, the Launching Pad, the La Rosa, the Common Few. Barkers, the Cuckoo, Stevenson's, Orleys, riding bikes all over town. Stopping at Palin's for a chocolate pop and Guy's Barbecue. Riding with the boys down to the park, catch a pickup game of baseball, or talk to the girls at the pool. Cruising Maine, that was the thing to do. With any luck, you could catch Christy looking up the dresses of the mannequins down at the J.C. Penney's or Monkey Ward's. High Pockets was usually out doing his thing, whatever that was. Lee Longus with his dog and wagon only being his flamboyant self. Alberta, Roberta, Robert, who knows his real name. Digger Phelps shooting the bird. Jimmy Raines had no brains, rode his bike just the same. Bradley worked at the cleaner shop, sucking on his unlit cigar, talking with his bourbon voice, making all his stops as he walked to work. Just a small town taking care of its own. This could go on, but it won't, I bet. Much to talk about and stories to tell. Many friends, part of the fabric of the past. We will go on down the eerie way. That's where it all began, and my roots will stay.